can't believe it. I can't fucking believe it. How is this not butter? I'm not sure why my camera looks like it's fucking 10 frames a second per now, but whatever. So I was just streaming like I normally do. Yesterday I streamed for about 9 hours and periodically throughout the stream I go and check out my videos doing. I go and check the comments, I read the comments, reply to the comments on stream. And I noticed the video I uploaded 2 days ago lost views. I'm not sure if you heard me right there. The video lost views. How the fuck do you lose views? It had over 100 views missing from the video and I know that for a fact because I was at almost 800 views and last night I was at like 620. I thought nothing could get worse and then I go and lose views. It's physically impossible to lose a view. Once you watch something, it's watched. Did YouTube add a new feature called the unwatch feature that I haven't fucking gotten yet because I'm in Canada and US gets everything before us? It's just sitting there right under the video just unwatch. I don't fucking like this video. I want to give this person the view. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to watch the whole 10 minute video first and get entertained by it but then I'm just going to hit the unwatch button. Basically go fuck yourself button. He's not worthy enough to get my view. So apparently over 100 people did that on my video two days ago. That's fucking great. I was baffled. I still am baffled. I, I literally don't understand how the fuck it's possible. How you can lose views. Once something is watched, you cannot unwatch it. Once you walk into your brother's room and you accidentally see him whacking his fucking schlong, you cannot click a button and unwatch that shit. That is engraved into your mind forever. I feel like such a queer doing this. I'm such a faggot. Oh my god. I don't know what was worse, me just walking around the fucking map crouched like this, not sprinting, just walking like this, or drop shotting somebody every single fucking time I see someone. Whether they're right in front of me or across the map, I just got drop and fucking shoot. Oh my god, I literally just dropped for the video and there's a guy there. Fuck yeah. I'm not the kind of guy who drop shots, I fucking hate that shit. Whenever I get drop shot, I want to punch my fucking teeth clean through my fucking throat. The reason why I'm doing this, I'll show you in a second. The MP44 is the last gun I need to get gold to regal. My assault rifle, as you can see, is 6 out of 7 and I am on the last last fucking camo and I have to get 150 prone kills. I'm at 87 out of 150 so I'm just trying anything in my power to get this as fast as possible. Nickel plated looks sexy as fuck on this gun. Jesus, I'm putting that on. I'm so close to regal assault rifles. I could have easily gotten it already but I decided to watch Game of Thrones all day instead. Last night I stayed up till what? Almost 5 in the morning I was streaming. I streamed for 9 hours and 3 seconds exactly. I wanted to get it so bad I'm like I don't want to fuck my sleeping schedule. If I stay up any longer, if I finish this, I'm gonna fuck my sleeping schedule. So I stopped streaming at 5 in the morning. I went to bed. I probably went to sleep at about 5.30. And I still got up with my alarm. I got up at 12 o'clock, stayed in bed and watched YouTube on my phone till about 1 and I got out of bed and I waited for my brother to get out of his room until fucking almost 7 p.m. and it's now 7.20. A lot of you have also been asking why the fuck I actually wait for my brother. I've explained this before, I don't know, a couple months ago. So my game room over here, wherever I record all my videos, play all my games, all that shit is on the second floor of my house. My brother's room where he sleeps is right across the hall from me, right behind this wall that my TV is mounted on. My room is down the hall that way along with my parents which is right beside my room. That had to be the gayest fucking kill I have ever gotten in my entire life. What is this guy doing? Shit, I'm on the flag. Alright, got him. I don't care. So when my brother is in his room, I do not like recording a video because I know he can hear me loud and clear. And plus he's sleeping and I don't want to bother him. I'm that nice of a guy even though it's fucking 5pm, 6pm and he's still not up. I just don't feel comfortable recording even if it's, it's my brother, it's my family. I just don't feel comfortable recording when I know somebody can hear me loud and clear even though my parents downstairs can probably hear me right now. It's just, it's, it's a little bit different because my parents, they're busy doing something. Either, I don't know, fucking talking about something on the computer, cooking dinner, watching Watching TV. My brother, he's just sitting there lying down in bed trying to fucking sleep, so it's silent for him. All he's gonna hear is me talking. He'll hear all my fuck ups, he'll hear what I'm talking about, he'll probably call me a faggot because that's what he does. And whenever he's in there, I tend to be a little bit quieter when I talk. I don't know why, it's just the way I am. So I don't like recording when he's in there because I don't have like my full energy in my videos. I don't, I don't like give it my 100% if you know what I'm trying to say. Basically what I'm trying to say is I'm fucked in the head and don't worry about it. So I've mentioned time and time again that the only TV show I watch is The Walking Dead or Fear the Walking Dead because they're, they're both for Walking Dead. I don't give a fuck. I'm just obsessed with the Walking Dead. I have a whole fucking like cabinet, glass cabinet filled with like Walking Dead action figures, Walking Dead, like the full seasons, the special collector's edition seasons that come with like a special fucking thing inside it. Like the first season has a mask. I think the only one I don't have is the second season. I don't even remember. Do I have it? The third season had like the governor's fish tank with the zombie heads in it. It's pretty cool. I fill it with my own water, which I haven't touched for a long time. The water has like half evaporated and it's 
fucking probably slimy as shit, but uh, I'm too fucking lazy to check it out. I've showed them in like a setup video once or twice, I'm pretty sure. But recently, my mom has gotten me into Game of Thrones. And I have basically been binge watching, not that hard, but I have been binge watching Game of Thrones. I fucking love the show so far. I am on season one, episode seven, I believe. I've watched up to six. I downloaded them all on my computer, I watch them right here, and that's what I do when I'm waiting for my brother to wake up. Because I wake up at 12 o'clock, he wakes up at seven, so I have seven hours to fucking jerk my dick. So today I watched two episodes of Game of Thrones. I fucking love this show, all right? I don't know why it took me so long to get into this. I've heard so many good things about it. A lot of people ask me, why the fuck don't you watch this show? It's amazing. It's got fucking titties in it. It's great. But I knew it was, it had like sword fighting and horses and dragons and all that medieval fucking shit. It takes place in the 1800s or whatever it is. I don't know when it takes place, but it's that kind of era, like a Skyrim kind of era type thing. And I hate that shit. I don't like that shit. So I never got into it. And my mom, like I mentioned, before she started watching it like three weeks ago and she watched the whole thing within two weeks the seventh season i believe is gonna start in the middle of april or something so i have 60 episodes to get through six seasons 10 episodes a season and they're about an hour each so i've gotten through six 54 left to go and i really don't want it to end i actually love this fucking show it's so good it's got swearing it's got blood it's got gore it's got fucking hardcore sex a lot of fucking titties and i'm sure there's a lot more things that I would like to come because I'm only on the fucking sixth episode. Who has ever drop shot at an AFK guy before? That is basically what I'm doing with my free time. When I'm not playing Call of Duty or making a video or streaming, I am watching fucking Game of Thrones. And in about an hour and a half, I gotta go watch The Walking Dead. Hopefully I can get this video up in time and it doesn't go up when The Walking Dead starts. I'm gonna feel fucking bad. Because then I like make you guys choose between my video and The Walking Dead. I remember I did it one time and I'm like, if you want to watch The Walking Dead before my video, just do it. I won't feel hurt. I will not be angry. Choose The Walking Dead over me any day. And there were people who commented, I watched your video first. Your video is more important than the Walking Dead or some shit like that. I'm like, you're a crazy motherfucker. Never do that again. So if it happens today, do not fucking do it. The Walking Dead fans anyway, because I know there's a, quite a bit of you who don't watch The Walking Dead, don't like it, or just haven't gotten into it. Just like I haven't gotten into Game of Thrones. I'm so glad I got into that show though. If you have not gotten into Game of Thrones or The Walking Dead or one or the other, I'm telling you right now, go watch both those motherfuckers. They're completely different shows. One's on AMC where you can't swear at all. One's on HBO where you can have anything you fucking want on that channel. It's fucking amazing. Like I said, there's fucking titties all over the place. Hardcore sex. Like, fucking hardcore. In one of the episodes I watched today, there was a girl bent over a fucking table, and this guy was fucking doggy style just plowing her from fucking behind. I'm like, oh, that's great. Fucking titties just jiggling all over the place. And every time I see that shit, I question myself. Why did it take me so long to watch this show? Actually, right before this, I was watching the first, I think it's the first ever Call of Duty tournament at the PlayStation, whatever the fuck it's called. PSX or something? So I don't know how many teams were involved, but FaZe actually ended up winning the whole tournament. I don't think there was a prize pool or anything but it was pretty fucking crazy they played orbit i think they were called it's a european team they played them in the finals and there was an snd game which was fucking insane and the last hard point game was just craziest game I've ever seen in my life. And Clayster, I even tweeted about it. People have no idea who the fuck Clayster was or what I was talking about. I was tweeting about FaZe and everything. Everyone's confused. Like, why the fuck you tweet about FaZe? And then I saw Rain tweet about them too. And I'm like, fuck yeah, he knows what's going on. So there's this SND. They were losing four to one. And then they came back and they won six to four. They won five fucking rounds in a row. It was insane. And the hard point, they were down by like, I don't know, 80 points, 100 points. The other team had like 240 points, 243 points. You need 250 to win. And FaZe came came back. It was fucking insane. They won 250 to 245 or some shit. It was crazy. I was literally at the edge of my fucking seat. I don't think this tournament meant anything. It was just the first tournament. I don't know if it had to do with qualifications or everything. I Honestly, I don't pay attention to Pro Call of Duty. Like, whenever I'm bored and I just don't have nothing else to do or nothing else to watch and, you know, there's a tournament on and FaZe is playing, I'll watch it. That's the only team I'll watch. Yes, I'm a FaZe fanboy. I fucking know that. But it was fucking insane and there was one point in the Search and Destroy where one guy on Orbit, he actually won a 1v1 situation and he had to defuse the bomb. He went to go defuse the bomb, but then he turned around, went back to the dead body that he killed. I'm not sure who it was, but he went back to that body and he started shooting it like crazy. The whole chat was going crazy saying LOL, blah, 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 blah. And I'm pretty sure that was, the, it was 3-1 at the time or 4-1 at the time. So like I said, FaZe ended up winning 6-4. And after the game was done, Clayster, oh my God, he went fucking insane. He started talking so much shit, yelling at the top of his lungs. I couldn't make out what he said, but it was fucking hilarious. I 
love Clayster. I love him so much. He talks shit. He doesn't give a fuck. And in between the Surge and Destroy and the Hard Point game, there was an uplink game, which phase one, two. And when they won, Clayster got up and he just fucking went like this. And, oh, we fucking taunted him. It was fucking hilarious. And then they ended up making a, one of the biggest comebacks I have ever seen in Call of Duty history in that Hard Point. It was fucking crazy. Um, by the way, I don't play on Tactical either. So drop shotting, it's a little bit slower than most people because they actually, what is it? The knife button, I think. It changes the knife button in circle. I've never played on Tactical. Whoever plays on Tactical, no offense, is a complete fucking queer because you automatically, like, you're just considered a drop shotter. You do it all the time. I really don't see the point in changing that button combination unless you're, like, a frequent drop shotter. And if you are, fucking kill yourself. Even though I hate drop shotting, I would rather be drop shotted any fucking day of the week than someone boost jumping in the fucking air, flying over top of me and landing behind me without me knowing and shooting me in the fucking ball sack. How the fuck did you kill me that fast with a scorpion without stopping power? Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm so close to getting Regal on my assault rifles. I'm gonna get it later tonight, or I might save it so I can get it on video tomorrow. I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go edit this up so I can watch The Walking Dead in about an hour. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Seems like it's gonna be a little bit of a longer one. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.